Hello and welcome to a let's play of FTL, Faster Than Light. Uh, so, this is a roguelike type of game. Uh, I wouldn't say that because it's random events, you don't save while you're playing, you just get it done. And we're going to name the ship The Avenger. Because what else would you name a ship, really? you got to avenge stuff. So this ship starts off with two weapons, a missile launcher and a burst laser, and three crew. It also starts off with shields. Shields are vital, you'll find. So, you travel through the galaxy trying to deliver information to the Federation forces. The rebels are behind you. So you've got to race them. Good old race. And so you jump from sector to sector. And then, when you get into a fight, in this case, we've got some slavers. So you can pause the game where you wish, and then you have your weapons down the bottom. You'll see you've got a burst laser firing at the shields I think that is yeah probably no it's the weapons and also I've targeted the missiles to fire towards their shields so my shields are down and their weapons are down but now notice that the shields thing is red that means the shields are actually damaged or destroyed in fact and my crew is trying to build them or rebuild them until they get put up again no shields but likewise the enemy has the same problem their shields are orange which means they're damaged so I'm going to keep directing damage that way so, all ship fights are very similar in the fact that you target the systems you want to fire at, the little lasers fire, and then they hit the ship, hopefully. There's a chance to miss, depending on engines and stuff like that. But, there you go. First ship down. Victory. And you get scrap. Scrap is your currency. Uh, you want scrap to upgrade your ship, and also to buy weapons, crew, repair. Scrap's good to have. So never complain about more scrap. So anyway, jumping along, and up, oh, there's another ship. Now this one's trying to get away. So I will probably target the uh, engines. No, I'm not targeting. Yep, there we go, targeting Helm. Just for the record, I'm actually watching this game being played. I've already played it, but I don't remember exactly what happens. My, much like what I did with the Binding of Isaac. This way I'm able to focus on the game and probably talk about what's going on. So yeah, that ship's helm's down, and they're firing little ion cannons. Meanwhile, on our ship, we've got a hull breach. I've got 99 problems, and a breach is one. I'm not sure what the other 98 problems are. Probably lack of oxygen in the breach room. Oh, and the helm's down as well. That's a bad day. Okay, so I'm probably going to take some time to repair here. Because <laughs> helm's down, so I don't really get a choice. And Thomas is injured, so he's in the med bay. Now, down the bottom left-hand side, you'll see power grids uh, going from left to right. Shield, engine, oxygen, med bay, and weapons. You can turn on and off those at will, and if they're off, of course, they won't work. Oh, and there's the rebels coming in from the left. That's bad. We don't want that. So we're going to get it out of the way, and we're going to go for another fight. I've found in the couple of days we've been playing this game that getting in fights is better than not getting in fights. I mean, yeah, sure, you take the risk of damage, but you get the loot, and loot is super important because near the end you need to be strong. So Ion Cannon's going to take out my shields probably, yep, and a stray shot hits the engines. But their shields and weapons are down. So they're not going to go anywhere, and I won't fire any missiles anymore because frankly I don't need to. And you don't really want to waste those missiles because they're expensive and I'll always run out right when I need them most. So they've got one hit point left, the next one will take them down. <laughs> Turning off oxygen to turn on health mid bay. The trick is, remember to turn it back on again, kids. I call you kids because I'm not actually insulting you, I'm just saying that. Whatever. Sounds like I insulted you, didn't it? Hope you're okay with that. This is now a kids' show. Yay! Okay, so upgrading the power, upgrading the engines, more power to the engines. Every point of engines gives you an extra 5% of evasion. Good times. Evasion, good. Uh, of course, these guys, the first thing they do is shut down your engines, which puts your evade to zero. So, one thing I haven't explained yet is why the people are in the rooms they're in. Helm, shields, weapons, and engines, for each, well, for a person in there manning the computer station, you'll get a buff. So shields recharge faster, 
helm will actually be able to dodge. Uh, weapons recharge faster and engines give you an extra 5% of dodge. Of course, if helm's down, or no one's at helm, then the engines don't matter because there's no one piloting the damn thing anyway. Ah, missiles. Missiles are annoying. They go straight through shields. Not quite sure why, but they do. So, shields damaged and cameras are down. Cameras are fun though. Cameras allow you to see inside your own ship. Uh, what's going on? Oh, engines. Engines. Look at the engines. Come on. Yeah, there we go. I was trying to figure out what was going wrong there. I remember that. I was so confused. Without engines, you can't jump. Makes sense, really. Oh, and another fight. Rebels. Grr. We hate them. So, the missiles, the Artemis missiles, charge a little bit faster than the burst laser. So, I like to target the shields first, so all the damage goes to the shields. Oh, they've got a drone. That's annoying. Look at it, it just takes down the shields repeatedly. But their weapons are down now, so the drone can't really hurt me because its fire rate is slower than my shield recharge. Look at it try. Who's the cute little drone trying to take down my shields? You're a oh, now the drone controls down. So it floats off into space. Goodbye, drone. Poor drone. Why did he stop? Anyway, more scrap. Do we upgrade? Are we thinking about it? Okay, we're going to start upgrading the shield. Now, you need two upgrades of the shields to actually get an extra layer of shields. But to have one more point in shields means they can damage the shields and cause no real damage. And I'm not selling missiles, that's silly. Distress beacons are interesting because they can be traps. I swear half the time they are traps. Alright, so for one fuel they give well four fuel they give me a Hermes missile, which is not bad. It does one extra damage than the Artemis, but it costs three power. Ugh, three power and weapons is expensive in cost of scrap. No. Oh. <laughs> your money or your life. Well, turns out it'll be our lives. Or oh, your lives. So another fight breaks out. There's a lot of fights. What? Why am I opening the door to... I don't know. There's a lot of fights in the game, but... That's part of what makes the game fun, I think. So anyway, a little bit of explanation about this game. Uh, since I've pretty much explained everything I need to for now. This game uh, is made by a small team of two, I believe, uh, and they put a request out on Kickstarter to uh, fund their game. They ended up getting 2,000% of their funding, so good work, and frankly, I think, from what I've played of the game, damn well deserved. So the people who paid a little bit more got access to the beta, which is what you're actually seeing now. This is not the full version, this is the beta. And the full version will be coming out, I think they're saying about September? Maybe August? Uh, September or August, I think they're saying at the moment. I wouldn't be surprised if that dropped down. Oh, new crew member. And he's a Rockman. Rockman are immune to fire, but they move slowly and have more hit points. Cool. So anyway, this is the beta. Uh, and the full version will be coming out on Steam, I believe, in September, August, and damn. Okay, if you don't go faster than the Rebel Fleet, the Rebel Fleet will catch up to you. <laughs> this is a bad fight, because even if you win, you don't get anything from it, because you don't have time to salvage. So you've just got to retreat. Or if you destroy them, you destroy them and retreat anyway. So this is not a fight you ever want to be in. So engines and helm are working to get that FTL drive up as fast as possible. So, yeah, uh, so far I think this is a fantastic game, uh, it's really good, and you know what, I'm going to do a giveaway on this game, I've decided. So if you put a comment in this YouTube video or the second, then I'll give you a copy of the game. No I won't, it'll be a competition, only one copy will be given away, and it will be a draw. So one comment per person, of course I can't stop you from making multiple YouTube accounts, I'd appreciate it if you didn't, but hey, I can't stop people from doing that. So, leave a comment down in the 
comments field. Or if you don't want your name given out, a message to my YouTube account, uh, FTL Giveaway. And I will put you in the draw to win a copy of FTL when it comes out. So, yay, excitement for that. If you don't want to enter, that's fine. I'm not going to mind. But, you know, I really want to give these guys some extra money. And what better way to give these guys some money than give away a free game? Uh, these repair stations are pretty good. They repair for two scrap instead of three. Oh, there's the rebels coming in again. Ah, uh, yes. Plasma storms. These halve your energy. <laughs> so, I so, you sort of got to make a decision of what do I need on. Because right now, yeah, I don't have enough energy for oxygen or healing. I've got enough oxygen for my shields because I'm not dropping those down. But they've got the same problem, thankfully. So, that's a thing. I mean, they've got one little laser firing. That's not going to break through my shields. And now their laser's down. So let's turn on oxygen again now that I've got nothing to worry about. Turn off shields. <laughs> uh, turning off shields is always a risky thing to do, but in this case I think it's okay. Now, their crew, you can't see into the ship yet, but their crew is doing the exact same thing as mine would be doing. So they're going for repairing, they're going to power their bays as much as possible. So, yep, they've just repaired their guns. So their guns are now online again, and you've seen that little gun pop out of the left-hand side. But if we can take down the gun before it fires, there it goes again. Goodbye, gun. Thanks for not shooting at me. So you can see the doors opening and closing. I like that. So you sort of get a clue of where people are going. And they surrender. But no, we will never accept surrender. And there they go. I don't think we got as much resources, but you get more scrap. So sometimes you take the surrender when you're winning just for the resources, especially if you're running low on fuel or missiles. Oh. I wanted to kill him. Oh well. So Nebula is good because the rebel fleet chases slower, so you get more time to wander around. So that's kind of fun. Except the problem is your sensors are down, so you can't see what's going on properly. And there's a chance of electrical storms all over the damn place. But having more time to explore is definitely advantage. Advantageous, if you will. One thing I like about this game is you can see what weapons they've got equipped on their ship by looking at the left hand and right hand, well, looking at their ship. So right now I think that's a... I think it's a mine launcher. I'm not sure what that is. And I won't know now because I've just taken it offline. But I like the guns, like, just sort of sliding in and out. It's a cool trick. More scrap. Scrap for the scrap god! Okay, and now we have available the second layer of shields. Ah, uh, distress call. Is it going to be a bad one? Probably. When is it not? Oh, there's a single life form now there. There's a crew guy. Now crew, you can either take them or uh, put them on... Or take them, if you can either take them home, which they'll like you for and they'll give you a free thing, or you put them on your ship. So this guy is a cool alien race. He powers wherever he is, so he gives an extra power. He's weak, he has very few hit points, but because he's existing, I don't need to buy the extra level of power just yet. Uh oh, intruders. So that little thing on the bottom of their ship, that's a tr uh, crew teleporter. Transporter, if you will. And they're in mid-bay, because you can see the little fist over in mid-bay. Now, a trick with fighting in mid-bay, and it's the funniest thing, is if you power the mid-bay, you're healing while you're fighting. So one Mantis Warrior is not going to be enough to do damage, well, to kill him. Unless a shot comes in and kills him, and that would kill him, but I don't think you'd shoot your own guys, because you'd probably kill your own person. There he goes, he's teleported out again. Whoa, yeah. 
So, the Avenger at the moment is at mostly full hull. That's good news. Okay, and we've got an extra level of power just to uh, keep things interesting. Okay, shops. Anything I want to buy? Anything I want to sell? I don't really want the Hermes missile. It just requires too much power. If I had more power, then maybe I'd think about it, but frankly... Not worth it. Buy a bit of fuel. A cloaking device would be fantastic. I love them. Um, maybe my next video will have a cloaking device. Because cloaking devices are really good. They basically make you immune to stuff. But I'll show you that next time I play. And Rockmen. Lasers are fired. Missiles are fired. Their weapons are... Okay, their ion cannon is down. But now they've got two layers of shield. I mean, one shot only does one damage. Pretty much safe. Now, I was thinking about that one because the missiles... Six missiles would have been pretty good, but... I really want scrap. Scrap is good. I'm trying to conserve my missiles still, but... The first shot to the shields is always pretty bad. Okay, once you've got a little bit of a map, you can see where the enemy ships are, or where you're going to encounter ships. The ships can be friendly, <laughs> but since you're running away from the rebels, they're usually not. Ah, oh, electrical storm. And I can't outrun them, so looks like we're fighting. But again, thankfully, they have the problem of an electrical storm as well. So I've decided not to use the missiles here because they've got no shields. Door control is down. Door control is one of those weird ones. It doesn't seem all that useful. Um, all it does is open and close doors. But the thing is, if there's a fire, which we haven't seen a fire yet, but I'm pretty sure we will you can vent air into outer space, which of course kills the fire. And that room has a hull breach, so that's happening already. So door control is not back online. And he's not healing. I'll probably figure that out in a second. There we go. Healing him up again. Door control is still down, but... Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, so, upgrading weapons. So now I have an extra point of weapons. That if weapons gets damaged, it's okay. We have redundancy. And the other good thing is, if we get something that requires more weapon power... So if I have something that requires four weapon power, I can now use it. You can only use as much weapons as you have capacity. So, in this case, I have capacity for four blocks of power. So, Burst Laser is using two, Artemis is using one. What's going to use that last one? Maybe something. Maybe nothing. I've only got one unit of shields on. I should probably turn the other shield on. There we go. I've noticed it now. Ooh, one stray shot hits. Okay. And the fight begins anew. Alright, I think after this fight I'm going to cut the video. So there's not one 40 minute long video. Spoilers. Uh, so it's not one really long video, and just have it so we have two shorter videos. So I will catch you next video, guys.